In this video, I am reviewing Try Hack Me again. So, it hasn't been the first time that I reviewed and talked about Try Hack Me on my channel, but I figured it's gonna be time again to do a re-review of the channel. And this is the video. So, so on beforehand, also, I'm gonna apologize for my voice. I just been at a strongman competition and I've been yelling all day. So my voice is naturally a bit sore and a bit darker than normal. So I hope you can bear with that. So let's get started with this video. Now, TriHackMe is a platform where you can learn a lot about cybersecurity. You can become a better person at cybersecurity. It is not a channel where you will learn to program or be a better configurator for anything like, let's say, servers and so on. You will however learn more about how you can do configurations in a more secure way by trying to hack them. <clears throat> that kind of also emphasize the general idea that you need to do some work, some practical work. If you already know how to, let's just assume some example, how to configure an Apache server, well, then you will most likely learn about how you can compromise some Apache servers if you can find the corresponding room that have a vulnerable Apache server that you can try and hack. But that's not the only thing Try Hack Me does, even though the name Try Hack Me means you are hacking someone. Now, first of all, you're not hacking someone, you are hacking legitimate real servers that are started up on TryHackMe's platform, which make this 100% okay and legal to do, and you can basically do nothing wrong. They do ask you not to spam the servers, like DDoSing them, because that's gonna take away some experience for, well, you first of all, but also it's gonna probably crash the server. But it can also take some, you know, system power away from other users trying to use the platform that can basically compromise their experience. So at the end of the day, don't do that, just do normal stuff. Anyways, what can Try Hack Me More do for you? Well, it's also a platform where you can learn about, you know, the blue team, you can learn about security operations, of course, being, being a pen test and stuff like that. Now, as I mentioned before, there are many different facets on Try Hack Me, so let's go ahead and try and look into that right now. Now, I'm on the landing page right now, which is the dashboard. And if you go to the one called Learn, it's a link up here, and just click Learn again, and you will look at this called the Roadmap, which is a new thing they introduced recently, which I really, really like. So Learning Roadmap basically tells about, well, talk about that you need to do some computer science basics. First of all, acquire basic computer science skills through get started with cybersecurity, and there is a path here called pre-security. These things you can click on here is actually something called a learning path. The learning path is something you can access by just clicking the learning path right there, and you can get an overview of the different kind of learning paths that there are. There are quite a few more learning paths now than, than there was in the start when they started their Try Hack Me website. I've been here for a couple of years now, so I can definitely say that, you know, they did expand a lot and more learning paths has been created for you to explore. So you can also just click the highlighted here called pre-security. I'm going to click on it just like that. And you can see like, okay, and this pre-security introduction, some text. And then there are some, what rooms are there in here? So we're going to learn about introduction to cybersecurity, like offensive security intro, defensive security intro, and cyber careers in careers in cyber security. The section two, we're gonna learn about networking and so on. These are all basic fundamental skills that they feel necessary for you before you go on to the next path, which is called cyber security foundations, where you've got an introduction to cyber security, complete beginner. And then when you did these first, that one here, and you did this one right there, which is also some rooms. And you did the third one, complete beginner. Then you are ready to take on one of the three individual paths that they can, well, with this learning at objective path can give you an idea about your reach. So either you go say, I want to be a security analyst, get on the fast track to becoming successful security analyst, then you can go ahead and click right here on security analyst and you can read about 
what is this becoming and what is that and why and and what what do you learn about it what is need for skills and so on and so on so if you want to do that you're going to do go yourself and learn the security operation center SOC level one and level two is if you find it easy second one is hard you can see the difficulty is indicated by these um, signal strength uh, meters which is also colored and words so easy to see if you want to be a penetration tester you're going to take these paths want to be security engineer you're going to learn about these paths so you might go ahead and find out what the three different titles basically means before you just pick one of them i know most guys just want to say i want to be a pen tester well yeah but is that really what you want to be and then of course you can do that these learning paths all consist of rooms and these rooms you can basically find under search and go and basically just say rooms or all if you want to do that but say rooms and then you can you know sort these by you know relevance most popular and used most users difficulties room type status if you complete not completed and also some of them are free and some of them actually require you to have a subscription which costs a bit of money but it's quite cheap here on try hack me these kind of rooms here you can basically find also in the learning path so it's up to kind of you if you want to take like let's say i just want to you know i just want to today i want to do a ctf i need it to be like a medium difficulty and i need to be not completed i want it to be subscription only for example i want to sort this by you know let's say most popular and then you're going to say i want something and then you can go ahead and say that oh, i want the brainstorm one reversion to your chat program to write a script to exploit a windows machine then you click it just like that and then you can go ahead and start with it now if you decide to do this way well you're not engaging yourself in the learning path you're more like roaming around and doing different kind of things going back to the dashboard you will also get a hey my name of course you can join the community as a discord channel which is great and then you can go ahead and check out your channel how many rooms you completed and what is your points and your rank and of course the batches you got and daily streaks how many times a day have you been hacking so in a row and then you can see like different you know um i i i, I actually engage myself in quite a few of the learning paths but i just you know had so many other things that i had to do so learning path as you can see that i have 24 percent on this i have 39 percent this and 63 percent on pre-security but i didn't really do and engage myself in learning paths some of them i just gained percentage in because i completed some of the individual rooms like say pre-security then you can see that well i haven't enrolled in it because i could press enroll and then i'm enrolled so if i went back to learn and learning path then you can see it the latest enrolled path it's also green now if i go and click on it it will not say enroll it will just say in resume learning so i never was in uh, enrolled in this learning path but because i've been here so many times and the different kind of rooms you know some of them i just you know basically learn that's also another way for you to gain these learning paths completions is by basically just go ahead and learning different kind of rooms and then eventually you will get you know your percentage spread out on the learning paths but is this the way you want to go or do you want to want to be more like directed towards something and this is why you have this learning roadmap where you can go ahead and check out well i want to do security engineer then you're going to go ahead and say security engineer and it's easy and say start learning and then you are enrolled in it it doesn't really matter if you're enrolled or not and no one will you know pound you in the head or if anything if you're too slow or not too fast and then you're going to go ahead and just follow the tasks here and say like okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna continue now so i've got security engineer intro and, <clears throat> and then basically when you're done you will get a badge and so on so on you can also go back to the path outline and you can see this is a security engineer intro that is the room you are 
currently in. If you want to change the room, you can of course go to the breadcrumbs and take the next one right here, say security uh, principles, and then basically take that one and just continue. You can also go ahead and, and, and go back to, you know, like learn again, there we go, learning paths, and then just go ahead and check out the security engineer learning paths just by this here, by 7%. And then you can see all the other ones that is also inside the learning path. Now, as you probably noticed, I clicked a bit back and forth on them. And I guess they need to work a bit more on it. But it's quite intuitive. It works straight out of the bat and it's really good. I see a lot of potential here on TryHackMe. And I do see that they actually worked on the interface a lot more than they have in the past. And they listen to the community that they want something, you know, out of it and they want something, you know, from the community. Also the community wants something from Try Hack Me and they want a better interface. Look at something like, let's say, Hack the Box. They've been here for a long time and stuff like the, uh, on the learn here, the learning roadmap is also something that Hack the Box have introduced to the users for a long time. And I think it's a really good idea that TryHackMe focused a lot more on stuff like this to more like nudge people on some direction. Even without learning path, you can also do something more, let's say just say learning roadmap for individual rooms and even, you know, make it make it easier for us when we go to rooms here. We can actually, you know, you know, sort by different kind of type, for example. But there's actually a thing for that. It's just called modules. And this is where it becomes a bit confusing. So I need to go back to modules. Then you can see like, oh, modules. So that's all the things collected, but it's kind of big, you know? What do I want to learn about modules? So they're like, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, whatever. 20 ish, you know, rows of four. That's around. Almost, you know, it's like it's like eighty plus, you know, modules, and it's got to be like, whoa, that's many modules. So, anyways, but if if you can if you can overview all these kind of things, you, know, you can still go in and say, I want to learn about something specific like the cyber security, uh, cyber defense frameworks, and then you can actually go in and see what kind of rooms they have that is about this topic in some sort of you know way. Um, if you want to learn more about, let's say, modules cryptography, crypt, whoa, cryptography, <laughs> then you can go and, and click this, and then they have these three rooms that is basically all about cryptography. But then you can say again, you know, is there no other rooms that use cryptography? Well, there is, but this is more like essential rooms, so you have to read the text and understand what it means. We also have this cloud training. Get your hands experience with Amazon Web Service experience firsthand attacks, targets, and exploit various services within AWS and what mitigation can be implemented to prevent this from happening. So you can basically go ahead and do this. You want to do it, but it's a paid add-on. You can press it and then you can enroll the path. You can see different kind of, you know, rooms this is all about. And, you know, they did a quite good job with this. You know, also get a certificate of completion. And I have actually thought about many times that I, I wanted to complete a different kind of things that I find interesting in Try Hack Me to get the certificates. Now, getting to a le ending of this video, let's just talk about the compete aspect of it. It's quite, you know, a thing. I, th I feel it's been dead for some time because they haven't introduced a new machine pool for a long time. As I see it, they have the same kind of rooms. Maybe some of them change, I don't know. But this is where up to 10 players can join and hack each uh, hack the same machine. And this is all about keeping a root access level to the machine you hacked and then getting some points in a certain way. If you go to YouTube and type try hack me and then King of the Hill, you're gonna find some streamers that actually, you know, did this together and streamed it together where like five people that knew each other was pretty good at hacking, uh, competed each other to keep the highest level of privilege access like root, for example, on a server. And then it gets some points and it's a scoreboard and so on. It's pretty, actually pretty fun. 
There are also rooms on for Hackney that are built uh, as a King of the Hill server just for singular stuff. Going to learn and uh, say rooms. And I think you have to go search and type something like King of the Hill Koth, just like that. And then you see there's something called the Koth Food CTF, which I actually did. It's uh, on my channel. It's uh, just a server you, you, you started up basically, and it, it tells you the eight flags to get, which basically is a way for you to prove that you found the whatever hidden access, a secret, and something you need to find on a server to compromise it even, even more, right? But there's no other, you know, completion with this. It's just, you know, a way for you to practice free room. Anyone can deploy and, you know, try out without being subscribed. So they definitely worked on the interface. I like the dashboard. I like this, you know, thing here going on. You can see like the things you learn, the skill matrix that you have. I have been, you know, I'm learning a hundred different kind of things. Is it rooms? I don't know exactly what it means. Like a hundred what? And a hundred, oh, it's percent. Okay, so 83% they could just make a percentage icon. Why don't you do that? Frag me, right? So I haven't really been that active in Windows exploitation. I have 23% of my skill set is towards Windows exploitation. It's because I, I basically find Windows exploitation a thing that is, you know, it's, it's a different domain, and it is, compared to Linux exploitation, which is stuff that I did more of. And I'm actually more like a web kind of guy. Well, I was in the past, and now I really enjoy to talk about and teach other people to learn to understand cybersecurity so they can use it in the job in a more effective way. Now, apart from that, you know, I think they come a long way on TryHackMe compared to other popular platforms. Let's just go ahead and, and say hack the box, for example. And this is that page. And back in the past, hack the box was a website in, in order for you to actually get started with it, you need to hack the website. So when you press login, you should actually hack the website in order to get in, which was kind of fun and a way that worked early, like early 2000s and so on, because it was a build like a rogue still the way to, to do it. But they also, you know, changed their interface quite a lot. And if you look at the way the orchestrated the you know stuff like with the logo and the menu and the buttons and you go back to here you can definitely see there's a similarity here with the logo and the, the menu and the buttons and and they are they're a bit more you know i would say got some more work behind it uh, but is it better is it for you the pricing is also different. I don't know why it's running so slow at the moment, which is probably something you should think about. But it's, um, yeah, uh, like exactly what this is. Um, let's see, base, talk to sales, expand your labs. Uh, yeah, this is the, I think this, they, I, I, I just, oh yeah, we have the, Compare features light 14 day the base so i think the base is probably what people want but you know try hack me they sorry hack the box is definitely something different compared to try hack me and they is more focused on professionalism and i'm sorry try hack me but it is just not the way you present yourself with the Discord channel and the way things are orchestrated on your website. I'm not saying they're not professional. I'm just saying that Hack the Box definitely is uh, for different kind of people. They target different kind of people, whereas stuff like on um, Try Hack Me is targeted towards a more commercial way because the subscription base is cheap. The price is cheap, sorry, that's what I mean. And the subscription base is easy to get access to. You don't require a lot of, you know, funding or to get started. And you get a lot from TryHackMe. So that kind of raised the question, you know, which is better and what would I say and what is my experience? Now, I'm not really going to go into this part, this video. It's a different thing, different way. 
I definitely want to say that Hack the Box is usually described as being harder, more professional, and less um, easy to get help with without all these kind of walkthroughs that there are. Of course, there are YouTube channels just like me, for example, have more than 300 videos on try hacking videos on content on my channel, but I don't have a lot of hack, of hack the Box because I kind of... I just you know, I became tired of doing pen testing videos on my channels, but it's just a thing, you know. If it's for you, there are different kind of channels that do hack the box. Ipsec, for example, um, probably the, the one that does most of them these days. I don't know. Uh, I'm not really looking at it too much, you know. I I'm 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 way too much caught up into my own work, so that's really what I do. But you know, I'm not really gonna talk too much about hack the box, but about try hack me more of that. So Try Hack Me has been growing and been focusing on uh, numbers and the interface. It is still the same thing as when it started back some good years ago, uh, but they just, you know, scaled their amount of learning paths and rooms a lot. And they also create these uh, Christmas hacking events, which is easily accessible, supported by streamers and so on. I still, I haven't been asked, you know, to do anything. And I, I think they will not ask me because I've been giving them some critique. And I feel that every business owner should be able to take that critique and and say like, is this something that I can use or not for my business? But we all have critique, critique for stuff. I feel that I do it on a neutral level, but still, you know, some people, they are not neutral in the business and they just ignore everyone that are criticizing. And putting a few words on that, you know, they are actually not responding to my um, emails. So I think there's a chance that they know who I am and they know that my channel and they probably feel that I said too much already. I don't know. And honestly, I don't care. But if they ask me one day, if you want to do some of the Christmas video for the Christmas hacking calendar, well, I'm definitely going to think about it pretty hard and probably going to do it because I feel it's a good deed and it's a good thing. I don't want anything, you know, in return. It's just something that I, I definitely would do. And I'm sure, why not? I'm also doing the videos on my channel anyways, but yeah. It's just a fun thing, you know. Of course, I'm going to help the community. So, Trag Me did a pretty good job. And I think this is for now what I want to say about the website, what it is, and the general introduction. So, basically, good job, guys. And for you that watches the video, I want to say thank you for watching my video. See you out there and have a really nice and safe day.